What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cedric. Welcome back to the studio. Welcome back to Sweet Scale TV. I took a bit of time off in December to get ready for what I expect to be an amazing year for me, for the channel, for the producer community. Now I'm extremely excited about what's going to be happening this year on the channel as well as my musical journey. I'm kind of, I guess, pivoting in terms of what I'm doing with music, but we'll talk about that in a future episode. What I wanna do in the next few videos is set you guys up in terms of my favorite effects I like to use, bass VSTs, all that good stuff. But we gotta start the year off right. And in this episode, I wanna share with you my favorite VSTs going into 2022. Let's get into it. All right, so before we get started, I always like to say no company's paying me a dollar more to put them on a list or not. This is just my humble opinion. These are what I consider to be the best of the best. I use every single one of these VSTs whenever I make music. If I don't have one of your favorites on this list, that's okay. Um, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think is the best VST out there. This is just my humble opinion. Your favorite might not be my favorite and my favorite might not be yours. At the end of the day, it's all based on the music we create and our preferences. All right, let's get started. So I got 12 really dope VSTs and coming in at number 12 is Electra X. I think I bought Electra X last year or maybe the year before. I don't even know because I didn't realize I had it. So as soon as you open it up, the first preset is a vocoder. I mean, check this out. Welcome to Town 2 Electra. Welcome to Town 2 Electra. Welcome to Town 2 Electra. I mean, this is nuts. Welcome to Town 2 Electra. But all jokes aside, I, I'm finding I really, really like some of the brass and keys. The navigation is okay. I wish uh, with Tone 2, I could scroll through with my with this keyboard, but I can't, I can scroll through it with my mouse, which is not a big deal. It's still pretty easy to navigate using your mouse. But yeah, let's check out some of the brass. Wow. By the way, if I ever do a demo, all the sounds minus the drums are coming from that plugin. So that bass preset is also from Electra X. Coming in at number 11 is Hammers and Ways by Skybox Audio. I did a full review on this plugin. The pianos, the electric pianos, the instruments that comes with Hammers and Waves is honestly so unique. I really haven't heard anything quite like it. It's not your typical piano VST, but it just sounds really dope. I'm just gonna show you a few patches and presets in this episode, but I highly recommend you check out the video I did on Hammer and Waves. <laughs> with hammers and waves whether you're making r&b pop uh, hip-hop scoring film you can really find some hidden gems coming in at number 10 is one of my ultimate favorites which is heat up three if you've ever seen me produce you know how much i love using heat up three i think this is a great plugin for producers that are just starting out and don't necessarily have the biggest budget in the world I think this plugin is about $99. I originally bought it for $150. Once I bought the plugin, Initial Audio sent me all the expansion packs and there's so much fire in the expansion packs. But with the original sounds, I was blown away and there's a lot you can do with Heat Up 3. So right now I'm using an 808 from Heat Up 3 as well as these hits called Death Stab.
Like I love using the hits, especially during a transition. Whenever I'm making a beat and you want like a nice hit for like a transition or something like that, or to make an impact, I find myself using Heat Up 3. I got a lot of delay. I could turn that off if I want. It also has some amazing flutes. Let's play that with a beat. This next demo has my favorite pad from Heat Up 3. Then we also got some vocal chops. So clearly you can find a lot in Heat Up 3 at such an affordable price. Just in number 10. So coming in at number nine is the Korg bundle. To me, the Korg bundle is like, if I was to compare Korg to a basketball player, Korg is like Tim Duncan. Very good, but not flashy at all. In my opinion, you're not gonna find all these spicy, crazy sounds, but you're gonna find very usable sounds. Sounds you can use all the time for classic hits. And then when I mean classic, you can use it for today's hip hop, uh, trap, R&B, all that good stuff, but you can also find some amazing synths. Um, and it doesn't just come with the Korg Triton. There's so much more the Triton bundle comes with, like the Poly 6, the MS-20, all these amazing legendary instruments. I'm just a huge fan of the Triton VST. Coming in at number nine is Nexus. Nexus is still a great plugin. Find that this is a great plugin for hip hop, uh, pop. You can do a lot if you're an EDM producer or like a house producer. There's a ton of great pads, basses, strings, all that good stuff you can find in Nexus. I got Serum coming in at number seven. Now, if you're a producer that likes to sound design, Serum could easily be your number one choice, and I wouldn't blame you. Serum has all your effects in there. It has so many amazing sounds, sound waves, all that good stuff. I'm just not a producer that likes to sound design whatsoever. I've tried, and at this point in time, I have no bone in my body that wants to sound design, but not every producer is like me. And so if you like to sound design, you can easily create amazing music with Serum Alone. One of my favorite producers, one of my favorite DJs of all time, David Guetta. I've watched a few of his videos and he says Serum is the only VST he needs. So, I mean, that's how powerful it is. Now for number six, I bundled all the Yuhi products together. So uh, Hive, Diva, and Repo. I love going to Yuhi for synths. I love going to Yuhi for some, some basses as well. All the Yuhi products I find, I don't search for too many sounds. They kind of just show up, they come to me. If you have this bundle, you're winning. I mean, check out some of these basses, right? That's nice. Play some drums. And the great thing about all the Yuhi instruments is if you right click on a certain sound, you can mark it as a favor from one to eight. And you can even go a step further and mark it as junk in terms of like sounds you, you never want to hear. Then we go to over to Diva. Woo! I 
I'm so happy I invested in Yuhi. Now coming in at number five is a plugin that I've owned for quite some time and that's the Archuria bundle. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you heard me talk about how I have issues with Archuria because it's so CPU intensive. I don't know what they did with the V8 collection, but that issue is gone. I've always loved the sound. I just hated the fact that I had to wait for sounds to load. But now that's not the case whatsoever. With the V8 collection, there's so many great instruments. I'm really, really impressed with Archuria. Anytime I think of like synths, I either think of Yuhi or Archuria and I'm never disappointed with Archuria. And Archuria not only has all these amazing synths, the V8 collection comes with pianos, it comes with organs. It just comes with so many great instruments. So what do we got here? The CZV. Nice. So this is the synth clavier. So yeah, these are just, I mean, these are just a few instruments. Also pigments, there's a lot you can do with pigments. It's not just a VST for playing presets. You can sound design with pigments. And um, actually, uh, matter of fact, I did a video on, I guess like my favorite pigment sounds as well. Archuria, really good job, y'all stepped it up. And um, I definitely love using your instruments. Moving in at number four, the music community probably doesn't love bass as much as I do but this could easily be not my number one pick, and that is Trillion by Spectrasonics. I could go on for days about how great this plugin is. Now I'll be doing a separate video probably in the next few weeks where you're gonna see my favorite bass VSTs. Spoiler alert, this will be in there. Trillion is absolutely incredible. Not only does it come with like amazing bass guitars, it comes with acoustic basses as well as synth basses. Let me just show you a quick demo. You got a studio bass, you got uh, a clean fender. Check out this funk studio bass. You know what I'm saying? That's incredible. got some amazing synth basses as well. Sheesh! Yo, that is crazy. Anyways, you get the point. To me, bass is everything and I can't get enough of Trillion. Coming in at number three is probably the plugin I use the most, which is Keyscape. Keyscape is, I guess, the brother or sister of Trillion. It's created by Spectrasonics. Absolutely amazing pianos, whether it's acoustic pianos, grand pianos, electric pianos. Uh, there's just so much it comes with. It even has key bases. You can find so many great patches in Keyscape. The grand piano is probably what I use the most, but there's so many more sounds as well. Let's, let's try the cinematic. Coming in at number two is the Native Instruments Bundle. Off the top of my head, I can name one time in the last year that I made a beat without using the complete bundle. That's how great it is. Uh, it's got my favorite guitars. It's got amazing basses, amazing pianos, synths. If you're asking me, this is probably the best bundle in 2022 as I'm shooting this episode. Some of my favorite instruments are Alicia's Keys. The Analog Dreams has amazing synths. I love, love Cloud Supply. It's great for like 
hip hop R&B, hybrid keys, another great piano instrument, melted vibes, the noir and piano colors is also great. And then you also have some basses. Some of my favorite electric guitars are found in native instruments. The list goes on and it, as well as incredible organs. You really can't go wrong with a complete bundle. And coming in at number one has to be the plugin that was awarded the best plugin of the decade by Pro Tools Expert, and that is Omnisphere. If you follow Spectrasonics, you know they just released their new Sonic extensions. I had the pleasure of working with Spectrasonics over the summer, and I got the chance to talk to the sound designers. They worked on these plugins for at least, I'm gonna say at least seven years, but it could be 10 years. So they worked on these plugins for a long time. Not only is Omnisphere absolutely amazing, but you added the Sonic extensions, honestly, it's not fair how great these instruments make me sound. You can play something simple like a C major chord with some of these instruments and it's gonna sound like something out of this world. I've said this before, I don't like sound design. Maybe someday I'll learn to love it. Now, I'm not sound designing with the sonic extensions, but manipulating sound, changing a preset, changing a patch from its original sound to something completely different is very, very easy to do. The navigation is super user friendly. It's really easy to MIDI map my keyboard to the Sonic extensions and turn knobs by using the faders and the knobs on my piano. Whether you're using undercurrent to score a film, whether you're using nylon skies for guitar, unclean machine for R&B, hip hop, uh, lo-fi, or one of my favorites which is Seismic Shock, you cannot go wrong with Omnisphere and Sonic extensions. I also did a review on the Sonic extensions. And if you're not interested in picking up the Sonic extensions, that's cool. I did a video on my top 25 sounds in Omnisphere. I'm probably due to make another one because that was a few years ago, but I mean, the sounds are just as good today as they were, you know, a year or two ago. You cannot go wrong investing in Omnisphere. So that's a wrap for today's episode. You will definitely see me using these plugins whenever I create music. Now, even though I have a ranking from I don't know, 12 to one. Oftentimes I combine different plugins. So I might use a brass from Archuria and combine that with a brass from the Complete Bundle. Or I might use a bass from Trillion and combine that with a bass from Heat Up 3. Unless I'm creating a piano melody, that's probably the only time I don't combine different sounds. Other than that, I'm always mixing and matching this sound from this VST with this sound from this VST. And I highly recommend you try doing the same. Plenty more exciting things coming up in the near future to really help you guys. So be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. It's your boy Cedric from Sweet Scale TV. Appreciate y'all. Let's be great this year. Let's keep grinding. And I'll see you in the next episode.